you're ready to maximize your free time, deal less with the stresses of the day, and really get on with savoring every minute of your life after your career, then you're in the right place. Great ideas, tips, and inspiration to help make your life after all that work stuff richer, fuller, and more of what you want. This is Smart Retirement Life. Hi, this is Mark Hager, and you're listening to Smart Retirement Life, a show where we talk about ideas, products, people, and more to help keep you inspired as you continue to create the life that you want. Today, I'm joined by Jonathan Frankel, the founder and CEO of Nucleus, a startup on a mission to fundamentally redefine the home intercom system that became available for purchase in August of 2016. Now, prior to Nucleus, Jonathan served as a consultant for Boston Consulting Group. Now, Jonathan earned his BA in computer science from Yeshiva University, rabbinic ordination from the Rabbi Isaac Elshinen Theological Seminary, and a JD from Harvard Law School. He lives in Philadelphia with his wife and three sons. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it and looking forward to speaking with you. Me too. I've actually been watching your all's pod for a little while now. I've been very excited about the co- us finally getting to have a conversation because I feel like you guys have created something that is so useful to people, not just uh, one certain group of people, you know, people with families and young kids and stuff like that, but also people who are maybe in their 60s and 70s and still want to keep in contact with their grandkids or their adult children. But I'm going to let you talk about that and about what it is in just a second. Um, I'm really excited to have you here today, and I hope that the people that are listening get a real feel for what you guys are doing, because I think it's not only important product that you've developed, but I think it's important to help people enhance their enjoyment of their life. So with that said, why don't you tell me a little bit about Nucleus. Um, sure, and thank you so much for the kind words and introduction. I really appreciate it. Um, Nucleus is a hardware and software device that you could basically imagine your old-fashioned home intercom, uh, but global, so that you could call if you're in your kitchen and you want to check on the kids upstairs or you want to you know, tell your spouse that dinner is ready, you, you press a button and you can instantly connect to other rooms in your house and with audio or video. And, uh, and see what's going on in those other rooms. But with the exact same speed, you can also connect to your parents or siblings or kids elsewhere in the world and feel like you're in the same house with them together. So in my house, I have five units you know, throughout my house. So my wife can tell me when dinner's ready, I can check on the kids. But also for my kitchen, I can speak to my parents in New York, my 90-something-year-old grandmother in Toronto, my sister-in-law in Israel. And under a second, uh, and we feel like we're, we're in the same room together and we have a live conversation. That is awesome. Uh, you, you'll forgive me if I nerd out a little because I just think this is great technology. Um, what gave you the idea to start this? So back in 2013, um, I was renovating a house in suburban Philadelphia. Um, I had three little boys who love to you know, destroy everything in their sight, <laughs> yeah. um, as, as you can imagine. And we wanted to put an intercom system just to keep tabs on you know, what they were destroying at that moment. Um, and I got the quote back, and it came back at around $5,000 for the same bulky analog you know, wired systems that my parents had put in you know, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And you know, like most people would do, I went online and, and Googled Wi-Fi intercom, figuring it had to exist, and, and was very surprised that it didn't. Uh, and the more I thought about it, though, the more I realized that you know, adding Wi-Fi makes it interesting because you can you know, have the same home intercom but a lot cheaper. But much more interesting than that is you could you could make it global, right? So oh, yeah. literally, like, you know, the, imagine an intercom system, but instead of just being your house, is is your entire family together, right? So uh, and it doesn't matter, like it's, it's location agnostic, right? You press a button, and and you just talk to your family members instantly. Very very cool. So let's talk a little bit about the features. You know, you said it works globally. You know, anywhere there's the internet, obviously. Um, what makes this such a great product? So I think it's the fact that it's designed for instant frictionless family communication. Right? We have no ulterior motives. Uh, you know, where we're not trying to, you know, sell you uh, on a security package or a motion detection package. Right. All we yeah. want to do is we want you to be able to press one button and in under a second see the people that you love. 
um, so that the features are the, the three core features are, are uh, in-home communication, mm -hmm. um, home to home communication, so the ability to call grandma or, or your or your grandkids. And then we also have an app for iOS or Android phones. So your phone can essentially become like a, a mobile uh, intercom unit. So from my phone, I can call any room in my house and then say hello and have a two-way conversation. And that works anywhere? Anywhere. I mean, I, I, a few weeks ago, um, I, I had to go to Taiwan to visit our manufacturer, and, and I landed. And the first thing I did, so it was like 6 a.m., in the morning, Taiwan time, which is 6 p.m. Uh, East Coast time, and you know, first thing I did as soon as I landed on the plane, I, I knew it was my kid's bedtime, mm -hmm. so I you know, turned my phone on, you know, opened the Nucleus app, and I went room to room to all three of their rooms, just having a conversation with each one of them, right? Sitting on oh, the plane, wow. talk. My wife didn't have to go get her get her phone or iPad. Um, I just literally press a button and have a you know a two-way conversation with my kids. That is awesome. I like that. It's cool. It really is very it, cool. It, it, <laughs> it, and, and like it, it's. Uh, I mean, I think what excites me the most is that it, we're we're helping families. Like we're really helping people talk to each other a lot more. I mean, uh, like my kids now call my parents you know, every day, whereas you know pre nucleus they would use Skype maybe once a month, and now right. it's so simple. It's one button. My three year old pulls up a chair. You know, presses the button for his grandparents and, and has a conversation with, with, with his grandparents every day. That is awesome. When we're getting into this a little bit, but my next question was, what drew you to get involved with this? I mean, I know that uh, you know you told me about what you're what the problem you were trying to fix, but what are some of the underlying things problems you're trying to solve? Uh, so I think for those, a great question. Um, the Technology has done interesting things to, to family life, right? In some ways, it's brought us closer, right? Instead of having to write a letter or a telegram and you know wait a long time for it to get to, to other family members, you know we can text each other, or, you know, call each other anywhere in the world, you know, instantly. But at the same time, it also kind of causes us to to be apart, right? Like it, mm -hmm. uh, it can get in the way of of real communication, and having an iPad or a computer. To be able to Skype or FaceTime with someone, it it's not really a proxy for being in a room with, with someone that you love. Um, yes. Just because of the friction involved, the ability to literally press one button and feel like you're in the room together, um, it was important to me. I mean, I I grew up in New York. I I'm close with my parents. I live now in Philadelphia. We, we see my parents every couple of weeks, which is yeah, you know, which is not too bad. But I have a grandmother in Toronto. I have family in Israel. Um, the ability to see them a lot more frequently and, and you know talk to them all the time, uh, and and really feel like you're you're just sharing memories together. Oh yeah, something that really spoke to me, and, and I think and, and hope that'll speak to a lot of other families out there. Well, it certainly speaks to me because I know that in my own life, especially having younger children, um, the absence of grandparents. Right, we live far away from my parents and my wife's parents too. And the absence of grandparents, it leaves, it can leave a little hole in kids' lives, right? Even if they don't know they're missing it, we know because a lot of people had that, right? And uh, I think that it does solve a very real, a very real issue for people. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about somebody this has helped. Give us a story. Um, sure. So one customer of ours um, said that her mother, elderly mother. Um, got into an accident and, and needed hip surgery, mm -hmm. and he was, was uh, in a hospital in a rehab center for for months, and felt very out of touch. She lived alone; like her her kids all flew in at times to to check on her and right. spend the weekend with her, but there was no one that was local. Mm -hmm. um, so they bought her nucleus unit, and they bought you know a nucleus unit for each one of the kids, and then multiple times every single day, they were able to check in and have a conversation you know with her her mother who was in a rehab center lonely. Mm -hmm. And so it literally changed her life, right? The ability to to talk to her kids whenever she wanted, see her grandkids whenever she wanted, even though she was in a you know sterile rehab center where she didn't know anyone and and you know had trouble even getting out of bed, but she felt like she was connected to her family across the country. Wow, that's great. That's a really good story. I can really see how that would help pepper up a little bit. I mean, that's going to help anybody get through something like that, especially when you're laying, you know on the bed and you're bored out of your mind all day. <laughs> so having somebody contact you and say, hey, is probably pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, 
There's nothing, there's nothing, I mean, uh, sorry to interrupt, but it's I mean, it, it sounds like we're, we're of a similar mindset. Like, there's nothing like family, right? Like, for, for good and for bad, like, there's nothing like family and, uh, and being able to, to just talk as frequently as you want and, and see each other. Like, it's, it's special. Oh, I totally agree. Um, what's on the horizon for you guys? What new products or services that you get coming down the line? So there's no concrete timeline at all, but mm-hmm. something that uh, a lot of customers have requested and, and we're currently researching is the ability to do voice-activated calling. Oh, that, yeah. That having to push the button to just say, you know, whether it's Nucleus, Call Grandma, or we have an integration with Amazon Alexa, so potentially to do like Alexa Call, call Grandma. That's interesting. I've actually belonged to an Amazon Alexa uh, users group people who are doing dev work. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, I think that is very interesting. So uh, I don't, like, the general rule is to under-promise and over-deliver. Of course. I totally get that. (laughs) No no promises that we we will be able to do it, or or if we do, that will be anytime soon. But Mm -hmm. it's something that excites me because I think it just makes it that much more frictionless. Oh, yes. So even if you're washing dishes in the kitchen and, and your hands are dirty, just be able to talk to your nucleus and, and call your spouse or your parents or your kids, um, I think would be pretty powerful stuff. I totally agree. Um, so how does how does Nucleus give back? Are there any charities or larger problem-solving efforts that you guys are behind? So we're, so far we have nothing formal in place. Mm-hmm. We hire people who uh, are chosen a lot, as much for their character as for their experience and, mm-hmm. uh, and skill set. Um, so whenever we come across, whether it's you know for our, our you know, customer help desk or um, your customers reaching out to anyone of us individually, people who are in a tough spot, you know we try to do anything we can to help them. Um, particularly, we have a soft spot for uh, for disabled veterans. Oh yeah, um, done uh, a, I wouldn't say a lot, right? Or certainly, it, say it's not in a formalized sense, but we've done uh, in numerous one-off cases. Um, trying to help disabled veterans and people who have you know, given their all for our country to, to help protect us and keep us safe, and, uh, and people who want to be able to more easily communicate with their families. So we really go above and beyond in those cases to, to try to help them. That's fantastic. I, and I, I applaud you guys for doing that because, that's to me, that's something very near and dear to my heart. So I, I, I think that's awesome. Um, all right, so one final question. What advice would you give to someone... Now, obviously, we're talking, you know, my audience is uh, either p- people who are above 50, right, who are thinking about retirement, or maybe, you know, they're a little bit older than that, and they've already retired. What piece of advice would you give to people to tell them, to t- teach them about continuing to, to create a life that was awesome? I think it's important for people to rem- remember, like, what is truly meaningful in life, right? The, I remember once reading or, or hearing uh, someone say, you know, no one lies on their deathbed thinking, if only I'd you know, taken another meeting <clears throat> or worked a little bit harder, mm-hmm. right? Like, you know, if you, if you fast forward, you know, 20, 30, 50 years and, and think about looking back at your life, what you would want to have accomplished, I mean, most likely spending time with family I is going to be yep. um, high up on that list. Um, being a good person, developing a good reputation, giving back to your community, to charities, um, if you do that, you know all that well, and, and you have your priorities right. Not always, but but often, you know your your work career will, will also you know uh, fall into place as well, and, and you'll you'll enjoy that in together with everything else, right? But if you focus solely on your work and and your career, and throw everything else you know off the side of the boat, um, you might not get the right balance, and and uh, you might not succeed at, at business or, or life. Very good advice. Yeah, and that it's you know it goes for anything. If you put too much focus on something that's not important, it's going to take you off of the things that are. So very very good advice. Well, listen, Jonathan, um, I think you guys have really done something. I know they said this earlier, but I think you guys have done something that really fits a need for people, even a need that maybe they don't even know they have because they have a telephone, right, or they have. Uh, some sort of instant messaging platform that they might use and and you've created something that's a little that kind of removes a little bit of a barrier and people may not understand 
how how meaningful having that b- barrier removed to the to having that conversation really is. So, and before we get out of here, why don't you tell folks how to learn a little bit more about you all? Sure. And, and once again, thank you for the kind words and, and for mm-hmm. your time. I really appreciate it and I appreciate what you're trying to do for for people. You know, helping them. Uh, you know, take care of, of the elderly, you know, those that have raised us. Uh, I think what you're doing is extremely meaningful and important and, and, oh, uh, and appreciate it. So our website is NucleusLife.com, N-U-C-L-E-U-S Life.com. Um, and our customer experience team is, is the best out there. So if you have any questions, like, please reach out to us. You can email us at hi, you know, hi at NucleusLife.com. And, uh, and we'll get back to you quickly. Um, like we care a lot about, about uh, you know, our customers and, and uh, happy to answer any questions that you can send our way. Excellent. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Nucleus has created this new intercom system that works in your home or far away. Coast to coast, it doesn't matter. It uses the Internet. And it can be helpful for watching over your house or your kids or keeping in contact with your parents or loved ones across the country. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit the Nucleus website, at NucleusLife.com, and I'll include links in the post on the website so you'll have them as well as some other goodies that I found that you won't want to miss. And until next time, this is Mark Hager, and you've been listening to Smart Retirement Life.